the, the ones who has the power, yeah. uh, they control the role models. Of course they do. And uh, through that, uh, they are controlling the society somehow. Yes. But uh, how people uh, just uh, look at this, I mean, uh, before we have shares, uh, it's coming from tradition. And yeah, it's but it's not as if Islam, sheikhs, or tariqat has always been like this, underground. People are ashamed of it, secret. Yes? Yes, she. Islam came with success. Yes. Islam came with opening. Yes, Ottomans came with opening. Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes. Islam is not religion of the, uh, uh, how you say, the downtrodden, the, how you say? Middle eh? Middle eh? Middle no. Miskin. Eh? Miskin. You miskin. Dejected, fr you're dejected, you're frustrated. <laughs> underdog. You know what underdog means? What underdog means? Say. Not nice, I don't like that. Doesn't have any taste. Give me something more tasty. What is underdog? Morning. You say, let me see. Maybe you're smarter than him, maybe. What does underdog mean? No pressure. <coughs> Favorite? Weaker, but it doesn't have taste. What does underdog mean? Give something the meaning of that. You say. Yeah? Yeah, he's smarter. He says, I'm not going to. Losers, let's say. Losers. You understand? Yes? We're not going to pass our limits now. We're not going to pass our limits. Because I say the word losers, then the next thing I'm going to talk about, we're not going to pass our limits, is not what I mean. Like that. What am I saying? The Holy Prophet is the greatest messenger. I said to Islam, yes. He has the biggest ummah, yes. His message is the most perfect, yes. Everything about him is showing that he is the most favored and the highest. He is the Imam of all the Mursals. He is the Sayyid chief of all the prophets. Yes? Okay. But when we look at other prophets, as Shaykh Effendi is saying, on the Day of Judgment, you're going to see so many prophets, they don't even have one follower behind them. Not one, not one follower. If you look at Isa alayhi salam, like this or like that, 12 people behind him, yes? 12 people. How are you? Real believing in him. So, but Islam is not a religion of the underdog that for hundreds of years, thousands of years, they've always been down, waiting one day to be up and then to take revenge against all the others, no. It's always been a religion in the lifetime of the Prophet ﷺ. To be winning and always to be opening. When you address a king that way, you are saying that you are equal to the king, to the Kaiser. But because you're a prophet, you are higher than that. You can give them a command and they follow. So. When you talk about what about the sheikhs today and all good people that they are, 
role models, but society is saying that they are bad or trying to change that, we're saying that it is only now. Put sheikhs aside, Muslims, Islam. That it is only now, with the past hundred years, that things have become very bad. But for 1,300, 400 years, no, Islam was rising and rising and rising. Hmm. So, the Islam had power. It was shaping the role models according to what now? According to what? According to his Prophet and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not according to how the society wants it, or philosophers want it, or people who have money, or people who have power, or people who have influence. No. It never changed. 1400 years. Teachings remain the same. The book remains the same. The foundations remain the same. The prayers remain the same. What changes is when it gets more and more and more tasty. Maybe from the time of the Prophet, let's say, his Meulit uh, was just one Sahabi reciting the poetry. They cannot make it so big like us because Prophet, والسلام, until his last days, he was fighting. Hmm? And he was busy and he was doing setting so many things up. But that is allowed, so we take that law, that ruling. Now when it is opportunity to make it more better, more bigger, more tasty, now they spread it. And they make that into a holiday. Of course it's a holy day. Prophet is born is not a holy day. So, role model was there, 1,000 years, over. Sheikhs and the saints, role model is there. Role model is still there. But the world has become jahil again, and it's squeezing it. So they go underground now. You understand? People are saying they are losers, but they're going underground. And continuing the tradition of over 1,000 years, those who are sincere, they look at the tradition, they're going to find the same people there, like that. The role models. If they want to continue the tradition of over 1,000 years. If they don't want to continue, they find every ayat, every hadith, any thinking to support that. To support those ideas that are against Allah and His Prophet in 1400 years. But it is good in this society, in these times. It's good. It's fashionable. It's current. People are not going to look at you strangely. Just think that you are strange and your religion is strange. You're going to say, look, look, you're supporting all those wrong things. We are Muslims. We are also supporting. They are going to say but they've already broken themselves from the chain that stretches all the way to 1400 years ago. You understand? And? Uh, and in, uh, how new role models we are, co we are coming from there, uh, and how new role models uh, be accepted in the society? I mean, uh, they have no background, actually. They just no, no, no. Role models. Role models means what you want to be. Okay? What you want to be. What you want to be can either come from what you want to be according to how Huck wants you or how Battle wants you to be. That's it. It's only two. Either Huck or Battle. Huck, it is according to Allah and His messengers. Role models, how you want to be. Battle, now, oh, oh, take your pick. Whatever Shaitan says, whatever Dunya says, whatever your desires say, and whatever your ego says. That is going to be a role model. So if your ego is taking over, your desires are taking over, you're going to find a role model that fits. But it is not according to what Allah and His Prophet has said. If you cut yourself from 1400 years of tradition, you can even jump from haq to batil and batil to haq. You say, no, no, no. We are Muslims. Although 1400 years they didn't say this, but now we have permission to say this. What is it you're saying? Is what the rest of the Batil Ahir Zaman people are also saying. So you become buddies with them in the ideas, as friends. You understand? Like celebrating Christmas. You understand? Those ones who are saying you can celebrate, you can say, you can do all do this, and they're saying that this is part of Islam, it is allowed, they're empty heads. They're square heads worse than that. 
And those, I don't care what their lineage is, I don't care what knowledge they have. When they say, oh, okay, what we're saying right now is breaking from 1400 years, but now there is a new law that is coming, and we can say, they're going to say, you have already broken. Once you, once you have broken, you come into that category of alims and ulamas of the Ahir Zaman. You cannot. Muslims have lived with Christians in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. Since that time. There are different ways of making friendship, different ways of making good relations. Uh, without sitting in kufr and supporting the kufr. Different ways. So, what I mean is that you think that you are going on haq, you're a Muslim, yeah, but you're supporting battle ideas. Then you're supporting the battle ideas, but you will try very hard to make the battle ideas to be from haq. And you say this is okay. People can also do that. It doesn't mean that now you're going to find something that is completely opposite and there is no support. They will think of some support to give. So now Muslims who are liking that ideas, because it fits, it's much harder now. Much harder to say, I'm not going to celebrate. I'm not even going to like it. No need for me to say Merry Christmas. Maybe I can say, have a good one to you. Yes? Have a good meal. Have a good time, I can say. Yes? Of course you can. So, but those people who say that those ones who are opposed to this, we're very backward. That's okay. We want to be strange. Because the salams of Allah, the salams of His Prophet are to the strangers in the Ahir Zaman. What do they gain anyway? These people are dumb. Astaghfirullah. So that's it. Careful. So it is according to what you want, your role model. Okay? It's according to what you want. Has always these things always been in people's spirit or people's ego? Yes. But when there is power of haq, even if you want to find the bad role model, there is that power that stops you. Either it is law or society's values, you understand? Or this or that. But now when you remove everything, even if you know it is wrong, the whole of society says it's okay. Easy for you to change. You're not going to have that power. Okay.